Right guys, and now we'll be looking at batch one of Houston Hazier. So this is their uh, <coughs> double IPA, but this is the double version of Houston Haze, basically. So Citroen Galaxy Hops, they brewed this for um, kind of the one year anniversary of Houston Hayes and the New England style, I guess, IPAs that they've been doing here in Houston. So It's the double of the double. It's crazy. It's been doing this for a year now, and it's pretty much blown up all over the city. I mean, Spindle Taps, you know, just gotten really, really, really talented with doing these. So, um, anyway, yeah, so this one is canned <laughs> yesterday, and the juice is looser, so. All right, Kenobi? Yeah, Kenobi. Kenobi. Just gonna not Kenobi. do that with my glass, because, you know. So, I haven't tried it yet. I just got it tonight for, uh, I guess the release before they closed. Yeah, so let's check it's it out. It's officially tomorrow. Oh my goodness! Bloody. <laughs> oh my that is definitely goodness. hazier. I will say that. That is creamy. So that pours out. It's a little dark, but a little dark in here is what I mean. My goodness. Okay. Pours out this really bright, hazy, golden. Man, that's good. Like bright, it's not even it's golden. It's like lighter. Yeah, that's it's, like it's like peach bright apricot. That flesh. is almost it's like, like apricot flesh. Yeah, it's, that's pretty, really nice white head. Pretty creamy. Yeah, that looks really hazy. So yeah, it does. Check out the aroma on this guy. Ooh, that is tropical, grassy, and dank. Oh my gosh. So, orangey, very orangey. Orange, mango, pineapple, banana. I get mostly orange and mango. Wow. It's like pineapple. It's not as pineapple-y as the, the hop straw, but... Oh, it is there. It's orangey. Maybe a very sweet passion fruit as well. You know, it almost kind of smells like... Uh, it smells like fresh Houston Haze, but just way more intense. Like, Houston Haze is a bit more of a maltiness to it, which, I mean, it's still good. I don't want to say it's malty, but you get a bit more of that kind of crackery light kind of malt to it. Um, and this is just like, this is just hops. I mean, really bright, tropical, juicy hops. It's, yeah, it's, it's everything. It's tropical fruit juice. It's... Orange uh, juice. That is basically orange juice right there. But it's interesting because it doesn't. It still smells unique to everything else that they've done double IPA recently. Mm -hmm. um, Heavy Hands was like straight mango for me, and I mean, Cosmic Clouds was really tropical, really grassy. Juicin's a little bit different. This is just even more different. I mean, it has this kind of spicy sort of dankness to it on the back end. Yeah, super dank. That's really interesting. So, I wanna say it's green. It's, it's really green. Yeah, I want to say it's really green. And I'm hoping it's really green on the taste. Let's check it out. Cheers. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. That is greener oh than God. green. That is fantastic. That's super grassy, oh, super man. juicy, super smooth. That is by far the best they've ever done. Without a doubt. It's... I mean, I didn't have Cosmic Cloud at Fresh, but that is amazing. Yeah, this is really good. This is really this good. This is really good. Um, oh wow. God. That, that just really intense tropical fruit juice sweetness up front is insane. I wonder how this is going to hold up. If this can hold up, Ghost Ship has got to run for, or Ghost is running for money. Like, Ghost has to run for its money, dude. 
That's better than that. Way better. I mean, I think all of their double IPAs, honestly, I'd prefer over Ghost in the Machine. Really? Yeah. I don't know, man. Ghost, yeah, man. Ghost can hold. <laughs> Ghost can no. hold, though, after a few weeks. Yeah, well, no, so are these. Right? I mean, this at least is... the double IPAs have been. I mean, Cosmic Clouds and Heavy Hands are still drinking really well. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so. I still haven't had that. I haven't had that last batch of Heavy Hands, which is still chilling in there, so. Oh, yeah. I need to do that. So, wow. the tropical fruit juice, I mean, pineapple. That, I always want to say that Houston Hayes, especially fresh, has that, like, pineapple, banana, orange, dole, like, fruit juice, right? I get a lot of banana and a lot of... But um, there is so much greenery to this that Houston yeah. Hayes does not have. And while Houston Hayes does have it, like, day of canning, within the first few days, it, it's not as intense as this. So it's, not this as, is, it's not as dank on the, the uh, No, this is either. really green. Yeah. Um, and I love green. it. It's It's got that astringency to it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Enjoy fresh. Please enjoy fresh. My word, dude. They just were, the body, they were probably watching this like a hawk. The body is incredible. Really nice and full. Soft carbonation. Um, slight lingering bitterness on the back end, but of course nothing that's too assertive. No. This is this is this is this is good. This I don't want to give it a five, this, but I do. Yeah, I think this is a five for me. This is a five. <laughs> this is too good. This is perfect. I, I'm finding it hard not to just like keep drinking this. And it's funny because it's so intense in flavor. So you want to sip it, but at the same time, it's so easy to drink. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more bitterness on the back end, honestly. A little bit, but it 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 does coat, and I think that that's probably its drawback is that it coats and um, it's really it coats intense hard. in flavor. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a good one to um, this is a good one to share for sure. Yes. I mean, I could drink a whole can of this, but this is a good one to share. Um, the juice is definitely wow. looser. It's 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 just it's really sweet and juicy up front. Um, dries a little bit out on the finish. Definitely not as much as some of the other ones though. I think it's a bit sweeter. A little bit. And then it's got that lingering bitterness. And this is this is crazy. So if you if you want grassy, if you don't like the astringency, sit on it for a week or two. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that, as I mentioned in the Hopshot video. If you really like that intense, grassy, astringency, hot burn type character to it, um, drink it now because it's incredible. Wonderful. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go five out of five because. I'm at a five out of five. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. This so. is weird. This is weirdly fantastic. Absolutely. Anyway, Houston Hazier um, lived up to the expectations, if not exceeded them. I can't so. find a bad.